Welcome to the next episode of Build Your Own R2-D2. We're going to be looking at issues 26 and 27 this time. Sadly, not issue 25. Um, I don't know what's going on at my local Smiths, but they just have not got uh, issue 25 uh, in yet. Uh, I am a little concerned because the last time it was this long before they got an issue in, they never got the issue in and I had to uh, look everywhere for that issue. Um, so I actually went online and I bought the issue for more than I should have done. Uh, so issue 25 is on its way to me via post. I bought it on eBay. Um, I thought it would be here by the time I filmed this video, but sadly it's not. Uh, so just issues 26 and 27 this time. Uh, but um, issue 25 will be next week. Uh, sorry, will be in two weeks time, definitely, unless there's something terrible happens with the Royal Mail Post Service in this country. So uh, looking at what comes first in issue 26, we get uh, some of the foot plating uh, for the next uh, part of the leg of R2-D2. And if you see here, it's uh, made of metal, of course. It's got lots of holes to attach lots of different things like the outer casing and more of the metal work and things like that. We also get uh, extra parts for the wheel, which we made last time, which we'll connect in just a moment. Uh, but for now, let's see how this part attaches to the leg. And it is very simple. If you just get the leg here, uh, you'll see that they are, they have got six holes in this part here. And I believe I've got this the white way around. I have. So there's little pegs coming out of this part here. They go into the two outer holes. So we just pop them in there like that. And then the rest of the holes are for screws. They are for the six millimeter screws that we got uh, in the last uh, last time. They look like that. Uh, so you need four of those to screw this part in, which I'm just going to go and do now. And when it's all done, it will look like that. And it is very secure in there as well. Very, very nice. And if I just zoom out, you'll get a sense now of what the actual leg looks like. The angle that it comes off is, is very show accurate, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting this nice big bulky foot all done. But of course, we can before we put the outer um, casing on the foot, we need to first attach the wheel. So the first thing you do is you get this part here, uh, which is called a bearing. Just had to go look that up. <laughs> I, I had the word on the tip of my tongue, but uh, I'd forgotten it. So you put that wheel bearing in there and then you get this part uh, and the wheel from last time. So you'll see that it does have a, a, just a square on this side where you have the four screws. But on this side, you have the square with kind of an indent of a circle. And it's that way that you push that in. Well, we can feel that creaking as that goes in there. Very nice. And you see that it pops out the other end for there. And you just pop that in there. And the wheel just turns away. A little loose at the moment, but obviously it won't be this loose when it's all uh, attached properly. But uh, yeah, you get a sense now of how the wheel works with R2-D2. Um, I hope that the casing um, covers more than the uh, metal work does, because I don't want to see this much wheel. I ideally want to see about that much, maybe that much if it wants to go over steep um, ridges and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, the first moving part of R2-D2 is in, which is very nice indeed, even though I have just lost the bearing. Uh, so this is a loose fit. This isn't a tight fit by any imagination, so make sure you store it safe to not to lose that wheel bearing or the wheel or any of the parts we have done so far. So moving on then to issue 27, and here are the parts here. And yes, I have kept them in the bag because I don't want to do this just yet. Um, there is a lot of electrical stuff. You have the wires there and you have all the components here. I don't want to expose these parts till the rest of the projector is ready. I should have said this is for the projector. This is the projector that will project the image of Leia. Yeah. No, that's right. I get it. Hold on. 
Hey, hey! Hello, I'm back. Look what just arrived. Look what just arrived. Issue uh, 25 just arrived in the post. Happy days. Very, very cool. So, yeah, I'm just going to open this up and have a look at what comes in issue 25. So here we have the parts for issue 25, uh, we have more of the dome to finish off. But before I look at issue 25, let's go back to uh, what I was saying about issue 27. Woo! Um, so yeah, issue 27 is the projector. Um, it is the projector that displays the image of Princess Leia saying, Help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. And as such, it's such an important part of R2-D2, I don't want to damage any of it. I don't want to accidentally tread on parts. I don't want parts to accidentally fall off or get damaged or get wet or anything could happen to these parts if they uh, come out of the packaging before we get the casing. So I am going to leave issue 27 intact uh, till the next video. And I know it's going to be the next video because it says in the instructions that issue uh, stage 29 is when we're going to uh, be able to test the projector which makes me think that it's going to be more complete in issue 29. So I'm going to leave that for next time. Um, but I do have issue 25 to complete the dome now. So let's have a look at what comes in issue 25 again. So here we have the parts from issue 25 and all the leftover dome parts at this stage. And once again, Diagostini, the order you're putting out these uh, items, these these parts, is baffling. Absolutely baffling. When I saw that I only had two of the uh, ring framework, um, I thought, ah, maybe I've got just lost a piece along the way. And I tried looking for it and I couldn't find it anywhere because it has not been released yet. So I cannot finish off this um, dome. Um, it's not going to be released to like mid 30s. We just finished issue 27, as you know, although we didn't really look at it. Uh, yeah, so it's another at least 10 issues before we get the next ring part to finish this dome. Uh, we can attach this part here, which I am just going to go and do now. And here it is all done. Um, and, you know, it, 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 there is a sense, some sense of completion because uh, we have completed all the black parts. I just wanted to get the final, um, final circular bit on. Uh, do you know what, Diagostini, if you're looking for feedback, um, I think this build would be a lot more popular. Uh, I know it is popular, but I think uh, you'd get better feedback if you gave us stages that we could feel a sense of accomplishment with. So if it was just the dome for many issues, with the casing, the dome is finished beautiful. If it was just the leg for many issues and nothing else, we get in a sense of achievement because we completed one of our 2D2's legs. And I think this jumping around, it might be for cost reasons, I'm not sure, but the jumping around is annoying. It is annoying now. I have to wait now, what, 10 issues just to get the next part of this. I, I, I hope that's because you're spending the next 10 issues focusing on the foot. Please just do foot parts now. Oh, it's too late. The order's already decided. It's already on the official blog. Um, but just sense of accomplishment. We want a sense of accomplishment, don't we, guys? Um, maybe for the next build, Diagostini, you could listen to us take on our feedback. And uh, I think it'd be more of a pleasant experience. But, you know, the thing is with R2-D2 is that the end result is going to be mind-blowing. I'm going to have a robot built. It's going to do all these things. And, um, yeah, that is what we're working towards, isn't it? That is what I'm looking forward to doing. We are a quarter of the way now through the build. And <laughs> I want to say there's not much to show for it. Um, is that true? Uh, so, yeah, it's been a whirlwind of emotions, this video, hasn't it? You had the excitement of getting issue 25, and then there weren't the droid parts I was looking for. Um, but there we go. So uh, I'm going to end the video here. We have the dome pretty much completed. I know why they spent so much time now on putting together the stand, because you're going to need it for a long time. And we have foot parts and the wheel, which has gone missing. I didn't actually realise that was missing. Here it is. There's the wheel. And the bearing is somewhere on my floor. What did I say about losing the bearing? I need to take my own advice. Uh, so that is the end of this video, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please let me know. If you haven't, please let me know. Also remember now that I am vlogging more. If you haven't seen my uh, little vlog videos, uh, they're just for those people who want to know a little bit more about me and a little bit more about my life rather than injecting them into the build videos. And still remember that I have all my R2-D2 magazines for sale. 
Um, I, I don't mind on the price now. They're just kind of clogging up. So if you want them uh, at, a, at a price, name your price, send me an email at chris.falcon at writeme.com and uh, those magazines can be yours. So until two weeks time, guys, where we're going to have a look at that projector. Okay, do you know what? That is exciting. We're going to look at the projector next time. That is very, very cool. Uh, so I hope you will join me for that. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.